Hi, today we're going to continue Tree Treasure Isles Tourist Kitchen. Chapter 3. Treasure sat on the beach and stared at the ocean. How could she, send, she get a message across to Eric? It was too hard. Humans never understood her person mouse. If only she could write a note, but she had never learned her letters. Treasure asked her, raked her claws across the sand. They made four deep lines. She, the lines almost looked like waves. That was it. Treasure would leave a message for Eric in the sand. All she needed was something to draw with. She ran up the beach to the dunes. There had to be something. Aha! Treasure dug a skinny piece of driftwood out of the sand. It was perfect. But when Treasure tried to draw, the lines came out all funny. Hump! This wasn't as easy as she thought. When she tried again, she heard a clickety clack noise. She smiled. That sound could mean only one thing. Sebastian! Sebastian the crab was Ariel's good friend. She clicked his way up the beach to treasure. Behind him, a fish popped his head above the surf. That was Flounder, Ariel's best friend under the sea. And with a flurry of feathers, killed the seagull landed on the sand beside his new friends. Wow, treasure, what you doing? Flounder asked. Trying to draw a ship, Treasure said. She lowered her voice to a whisper. I want to convince her to, to make me an Ariel. An Ariel on, this tr on his trip, she told Sebastian. Flounder and school all about it. And about how Eric didn't want Ariel or Treasure to go that Tinjumanji is a ship, Skiddle asked. He pointed the wing on the drunk. It looks more like a doodle chicky to me. Allow me, Sebastian said with a bow. Treasure passed the stick to Sebastian. At first, she had him draw the ship. She made, he made it huge. It took up nearly the whole beach. From the dunes to the surf, there was no way I could miss it. He had ways at the bottom of the ship. Then he drew sails on a mast. Now draw Eric by the ship's wheel, Treasure directed. And Max, of course. After he did that, he put Ariel at the front of the ship. Next to her, he drew a kid and it was Treasure. That was Treasure. Treasure stepped back to the mirror. Sebastian's sand picture. It looked great. At her side, Sebastian nodded. That drawing is as clear as creek water, he said. I only worry about, about one thing. What? Treasure asked. I worry about car, car school, cut off Sebastian's answer. He circled his friends over the beach. Eric's leaving the ship. He's coming this way. Treasure snapped to attention. Eric had headed towards her. He could see the drawing. He could know he had to take them on the trip. She couldn't wait. She positioned herself next to the drawing. She held her head against and faced Eric. Out in the water, she heard Treasure heard Flounder cry, Wee! What is he doing, Treasure thought. She turned to see him riding a big wave toward the shore. She smiled. When her smile came from, a big wave? Oh no! With a sound like thunder, the wave crashed onto the sand. The surf roared up the beach. Treasure ran in front of the water. But she couldn't stop it. It rolled right over Sebastian's drawing. When the wave rolled back, 
the ship was whipped away. The drawing of Ariel, Eric Max, seashell treasure and ship gone. Only the top of the mast was left. Eric walked past. Hi there, treasure, he called. Hey, Sebastian, Flanders, Scoodle. Enjoying this fine day, treasure stealers dropped. Sebastian lowered his head sadly. Hi, Tide, he said. That is what I, I was worried about.